In this video, we'll take a look at Life Miniatures 1 10th Scale Paul von Hindenburg Bust. And it's all coming up right after this. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Welcome. You come to see the movie about mein Bust? Jawohl. Mein Feldmarschall. Good, good. Wunderbar. Auf Wiedersehen. If you're new to the channel and you're interested in all things military and miniature, you've come to the right place. So please consider subscribing, hit the bell notification below, give me a thumbs up, and share this video with others in this great modeling community. Now let's check that figure out. Hello everybody and welcome to another Small Soldier video. In today's video I'll be doing a review of this Life Miniatures Paul von Hindenburg circa 1916-1917 and the number of the kit is LMB015 and it's actually a 1 9th scale kit not 1 10th interesting and again it's sculpted and painted by the great Sang Yong Lee alright let's take a look inside the box so one thing I wanted to show you before we get into the inside of the box they give you a nice color guide for painting the metals on the side here I thought that was kind of a nice bonus let me tell you what each of the metals actually is called. That's one less thing you have to do to research the figure. Okay, and inside the box we have one, two, three, four pieces of resin. Sorry, five pieces of resin. I forgot about the spike on top of the helmet. Let's take a closer look and inspect what we have here. First we'll look at the torso section of the figure. And first thing I wanted to note was the stand or pintle mount for the figure fits nicely into the bottom. And the only thing you have to clean up is this plug right here on the side, which should prove to be no problem for anyone of average modeling skills. Well, as you can see, the details on the coat are very well sculpted. Every tiny little wrinkle and stretch in the fabric is modeled. Under here, I'll probably do what I did on my Rommel figure and undercut the collar just a little bit just to give that a little more realism on the sides nice detail in the seams and on top here we have the shoulder boards very well sculpted you don't want to have to make anything up there that's going to be an easy paint job you can see the details here are very well represented on the collar you can see all the detail on the metals is expertly crafted and the first metal up here is the Blue Max and this is the Red Eagle Order. This is the Iron Cross 1914. This is the Order of the Red Eagle with crossed swords. And down here we have the Order of the Black Eagle. And here you can see some detail on the buttons. They've even added that detail in. That is some quality casting and sculpting, as I'm sure you'll agree. So the next part we'll look at is the head itself of Paul von Hindenburg. Sounds a little nasty. <laughs> You can see the likeness is bang on in my opinion. All the details showing you know his age are sculpted into the face. And back here there is a bit of a seam you'll have to remove but again that shouldn't be a big issue. Should be able to blend that in pretty good. The eyes are well sculpted. Should make it easy to paint the eyes. And 100% other than that little mold line at the back. Okay the next part we'll look at is the pickle hob helmet. There's quite a beautifully sculpted eagle here on the top of the helmet. Incredible detail has been put into the sculpting of this. And that should paint up very nicely. And the chin scales here are very well represented as well. Top here with some nice bolt detail. And this part here is the spike for the top of the helmet. And that poor plug will be the only thing you need to cut off and that should fit into the hole here really nicely. And again like all life miniatures there's a nice mating area here to make to the top of the head here so you get a nice positive fit the only part you need to clean up is right here that poor plug has to come off but again I'm not seeing any kind of remnant of a seam or mold line or parting line anywhere and we'll take a closer look here at the detail in the eagle on the helmet and I think you'll agree that's very nicely cast and sculpted and there's a close-up of the face we'll get in a little tighter here and you can see all those wrinkles in his face around the eyes the classic crow's feet I suppose 
Nice detail in the eyes and the hair. Well, that's going to be a fun one to paint. Hey! 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 Who wants to have some fun? I do. I do. All right. I hope you enjoyed that review. I think this bust will make an enjoyable yet challenging project for all you figure painters out there. There's not many parts to put together and it should be a relatively easy figure to clean up so you should get to painting pretty quickly. And with that I would like to say if you enjoyed this review please consider subscribing, hit the bell notification below, give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone in this great modeling community of ours. Until next time guys, take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye now.